Hello, my lovely people. It is Angela back with a new video. Today, we're going to be talking about New Year's, New Year's resolutions that the majority of the world makes before the New Year approach. However, we know that in real time, we can make these New Year's resolutions, but how often do we stick with what we say or how do we be remain accountable for the New Year's resolutions that we make for ourselves? In essence, we know that, yeah, I want to do this, whatever, but am I going to have the time whereas I don't know what the future is going to bring? So how am I going to have time to say that I'm going to do what I set out to do? So we are going to jump into this video, but before we do, if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, hit that bell, and you'll be notified when new content is released. So moving forward. New Year's resolutions. The new year is fastly approaching 2022. Social media. Nope. You say you're going to put your phone down more? You ain't. You're not. You are not. You give in to this whole, or we give in to this whole addictive uh, state, whereas we need to see what's going on on social media what others are doing, regardless of if it has like an upward social comparison or even a downward social comparison. Some individuals use social media work to make themselves feel good about themselves. However, in other cases, it has a dramatic effect on other individuals' uh, mental state and their emotional state where it, 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 it's, it kind of propels them into like um, low, lower self, having lower self-esteem, um, feeling as so that they haven't accomplished things in life that they should have. And just sending them off into a mental funk, depression, anxiety, and stress. I mean, it, it's like social media has. I mean, it has its good time. It has its good thing, good ways and its bad ways. Especially when you interact with it for a specific purpose, not necessarily a purpose to see what others are doing, whatever that will make you feel bad about yourself. But if you do it to help you. To, to, as a way to motivate you to do more or to do better, but that's good. I love to see, I love to go onto social media websites and see others, what they have accomplished or what they have achieved. I don't go in there to compare myself to another individual. You know, I won't do that. I won't do that because I don't want to feel as though that I haven't achieved anything in life. If I haven't achieved anything in life, whatever, that is my fault. It is my fault. It's not the fault of other individuals. So that ties into with engage in more self-help, taking responsibility for your health, engage in preventative measures when it comes to your health, and not letting the situation get out of hand whereas it has a detrimental impact on your body. 